This is a how-to video from Total Watch Repair. Today we're going to be replacing a watch battery in the Luminox Series 8800 watch. This is an all black carbon case with a mineral crystal water resistant watch. Here we're going to carefully unscrew all of the four screws on the case back with a small Phillips head screwdriver. We're going to make sure to put the watch on a soft cloth so that it doesn't damage the case or the crystal. Once we have all four screws out, we're gonna go ahead and remove them with the tweezers. We're gonna actually take off the whole entire back case, or you can remove the screws first and place everything down carefully, make sure not to lose the screws. The next thing we're gonna do is remove the silicone rubber gasket. Silicone rubber gasket used to keep water out, dust, any kind of debris. It's very important for water resistant watches. So we're gonna remove that, we're gonna place that in our little container which has a sponge filled with silicone in there and we're just gonna let that sit. In the meantime, we're gonna go ahead and remove the watch battery. There's a little lever inside the mechanism which you turn it or you basically just move it, you slide it over and the battery will pop out. We're gonna get our new battery and that's a 371 Energizer watch battery. Uh, typically most of the Luminox watches do take 371 batteries. And we're gonna put that in the insulator which is the brown film that's on top of the movement. We're gonna put that on top I'm going to use my small tweezers to go ahead and slide that lever which the battery needs to slide underneath. Once that's firm in place, we'll go ahead and put the top lid on the lubricator. Turn that a few times, make sure it gets nice and soggy. Once that's on there, sometimes the, t the lid comes off, mm, that happens, just go remove that. So now that the silicone gasket's nice and moist, I will go ahead and put that back into the position. There's a groove on the back case. So as you can see, I'm tapping it down with the tweezers to make sure it gets exactly in that groove so that once you put the case back on, there is no holes or there's nothing that can allow water or moisture or debris to enter. Here I am just airing out the movement just to make sure there's no particles or debris stuck inside the mechanism. Once that's done, we're gonna go ahead and put the back case on and just basically put the screws in and reinstall everything here. Now this particular watch has, if you'll notice the right, the top has a little chip in the back case. This is one of our customers watches. It's obviously not going to pass the water pressure testing because of that little chip or break that there is in the back case. However, the watch still functions and it will still keep time and it still works. So our customer is okay with that. We just let them know that the watch will not pass water resistancy. Typically we can order a back case or I would recommend a new, an entire new case or even a new watch if you do plan on using this watch in the water. So here we are just putting the screws back in. Once the screws are back in, the watch is completed with the new battery installed and should run. Fresh batteries usually run about one to two years. That's the, about the standard life for watch batteries. Once that's done, we'll go ahead and set the time and date and the watch is ready to go. We hope you enjoyed our video. If you have any questions or suggestions, please let us know. You can also find us on Instagram and Facebook, as well as our website, TotalWatchRepair.com. Any additional information for the tools used will be notated in the description portion. So if you have any other questions, please let us know. Thank you.